All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Antique Mall. Let's see what they got. All right, you guys. So in the Antique Mall, we are at the first little area. Um, just a few things to jump out at me. We've got, I believe this is a OG Jason Voorhees. Yeah, 2014. Pretty cool. Um, OG Superman from 2013. Pretty good box, too. Um, Scarlet Witch is still here. Just for 30, it's just a little high. Unmasked Batman. Let's see, we got Adam Bomb. Uh, got Nick Fury down there. Nothing too, too crazy. This is probably my favorite thing that I've seen. Is that I believe this is like the retro Bubba Fett. I think that one's very, very cool. Oh, uh, we've got some Star Trek. I'll take a look at those real quick. But uh, yeah, looks like that's about it for this first area. All right, so over here we do have a new Freddy Funko from 2016. I'll take a look, see if that's worth anything. I'm not super crazy about it, but uh, it is a cute little Freddy Funko. You got Penelope Pit Stop right there. We've got a Juggernaut, ooh, Sabretooth right there, Venom. I think this is kind of normal stuff that uh, has been here for just a little bit. Um, but usually, this is where I find some good stuff. Some Despicable Me, and that Bing Bong. And that uh, joy, I, I may need to pick up pretty soon. But I think that's it for right now. All right, guys. So the last area we've got here, we've got two shelves. Um, <clears throat> really, the only thing that I'm seeing, I'm seeing a couple of domos. Those have been here for a little bit. Um, I do see a new Freddy Funko, Funko Shop exclusive. We've got some NBA uh, with the finals going on. May take a look, see if there's anything of interest there. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it's going to be just about it. I'll take a look over here. Some uh, NASCAR. Some DC. So, I don't think there's anything too crazy here. I think um, I did see a few things that I'm going to pick up that maybe you guys didn't see yet. And uh, we'll keep it moving. All right, guys. So, still collectibles. It's kind of the normal stuff that I see so far. Here's our Marvel section. Star Wars. I don't see anything jumping out at me at this time. They do have a uh, table with a ton of clearance. So we will check that out. Um, but I'm just going to take a quick look. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything too, too crazy here. We'll look in their case and uh, we'll go from there. Flavor Flav. Some really good Walking Deads. What I'm more interested in is the Freddy Funkos up here. I've got a couple Freddy as Superman, Reaper, Space Zombie. Okay, you guys, so we are leaving. Steel collectibles, holy cow. 75% off and they had the artist series with the hard stacks uh, they were three dollars a piece so we absolutely loaded up I'll probably just give away some of the the artist series I don't need that many um, I've got one set it looks like now but uh, we'll just give the rest away so I guess this video let's do a giveaway let me know you guys the United States I will send you two three whatever you want uh, just like this video. Let me know which one is your favorite. Is it Iron Man? Is it Cap? Uh, is it Thor? Uh, let me know and uh, I'll have one sent your way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're back. Uh, it was a great weekend in Atlanta. Another good one. Um, we've got a lot to discuss, so let's get it. <clears throat> so first things first, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I did not unbox this um, live for you guys. But uh, I did order another Freddy Funko as Stormtrooper uh, that gets us up to 10 uh, Stormtroopers. Uh, I just ordered it because uh, the, the price was 50 bucks. Uh, couldn't beat it, so I definitely went ahead and picked it up. Um, a few other things that you guys didn't see. Well, really, you didn't see any of these. But about two weeks ago, uh, my girlfriend went to um, that uh, antique mall. 
and she was able to find Jimi Hendrix and another Stan Lee. I think these were like 10, 12 bucks a piece. Um, really good prices. I would say the Jimi Hendrix is a, a little beat up, but still very, very cool pieces. So we did pick those guys up. Uh, and then what else we got from the Antique Mall? Uh, nothing crazy, but we did get a Guardians of the Galaxy Drax. Uh, this is just uh, the 2014 Drax, and the box is in really, really good shape. It's kind of like a misform on this side. It's kind of hard to, to see, but <clears throat> it's about $20 pop, and it was going for 10 bucks. so um, I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, the next one... Uh, this one's really dope. Of course, uh, when I saw it, I knew that it was uh, it was going to be a decent one. But we got Miss Laura Croft herself. And actually, when I was younger, um, I actually played this game with my mom. Uh, I remember uh, jumping around and shooting T-Rexes. Um, so, pretty cool. But again, she has really good value. I think I paid 15 18 bucks, And she's a $20 to $50 pop. So, very cool pickup there. And then the last one, uh, this one I picked up from my personal collection. Um, hopefully I could get it autographed pretty soon. But it is Daredevil. Um, and I think with the new series that's about to come out, uh, I think that uh, this will just increase in value a little bit more. Of course, you can see the set there on the back. Uh, this one I did pay a little bit more for. I think we paid about 30 bucks for that one. But uh, very happy to pick that up. All right, Whew. so um, we went to Plastic Empire. Um, you guys have seen Plastic Empire in a lot of my other videos. Um, I did not pick up anything besides some hard protectors. Uh, they were they had them on sale for five bucks a piece, uh, so I went ahead and picked up I think eight or nine of them. Uh, but <clears throat> that was literally all we got. Um, so then we went to Steel Collectibles, and you did see uh, some footage there. And I'll show you guys what we got. Uh, we'll start with this one right here. So we did pick up this WWE uh, WrestleMania John Cena and The Rock. Um, the reason why I picked this out is because I'm going to do a photo shoot with the ring. Um, you guys, go check out my Instagram at Project Funko. Uh, and you'll see what kind of videos we're going to have. Um, but you also guys guys you also saw um, the table where we had 75% off that was 75% off it was um, 28 bucks so it was uh, about 10 10 or 12 bucks for that but what we did pick up and you guys can see the amount here what we did pick up is we picked up a whole bunch of artist series pops and then there's six more so um, I think we've got um, around 20 to 25 of these artist series uh, the reason why I picked these up uh, it does come with the hard stack um, and 75% off these guys were three dollars a piece you cannot beat that for a pop and a hard stack um so we did get a thor um i will say though the thor is broken it's kind of hard to see but his hammer is broken so I, I won't give that to anybody but we do have black widow we've got black widow we've got iron man we've got cap so we're going to give away some of these artist series. I'm going to keep the hard stack, but we'll give away the artist series uh, Funko Pops. So, all I need you to say in the comments below, which one is your favorite? I know people just give these a bad rap, and that's perfectly fine if you want to talk trash about them. But tell me which one is your favorite, and uh, I'll give it a week on this video. And uh, we'll pull somebody, and uh, if you're in the States, I will send these bad boys to you uh, free of charge, okay? So, 
you guys let me know what is your favorite Funko that we picked up. Uh, would you cash in on a $3 pop stack and uh, artist series Funko? You guys let me know. And as always, I will catch you in the next video.